Hi, Joe Cerrone. And Al Rosen. Welcome to CAD 116 Basic AutoCAD in our weekly Zoom classroom meeting. All right, so we've got a number of things in the main splash page. Um, we have these Zoom meetings on Thursdays. Right now we're running it at 1030. It's possible we may have some time changes because we're working internationally with um, some of the colleges in um, Sweden, Germany, and the Netherlands. And so we had to adjust our time schedule slightly to be able to meet with them. I think it's like four o'clock in the afternoon over there at nine o'clock in the morning. So they're about half, about six or seven hours off from us. And that's one of the reasons we had some time changes. But with that, we still run the meetings every week. Al, would you like to explain the module four links? Oh, uh, yes, no problem. Uh, the links we have up there are PDFs and videos. Um, right at the top over there, uh, this is objective number four. If you click on it, that's uh, class objectives for today, learning objectives. And what that is, a CAD 116 module. Um, if you can make it larger, I can, you will see it better. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Anyways, uh, drawing circles using circle commands, uh, using arc commands, ellipse commands, uh, polylines, which are different lines, which we'll show you either way later on. Uh, polygons, rectangles, hexagon, pentagons, all the nice little things that you can do. Donuts uh, in, with holes in it, without holes in it. Uh, spline lines, uh, uh, which is like polylines that you can start in a little thin, work your way up, curve them, decurve them, and everything else that we're going to go over today. And that's part of our assignment and our videos that we have put together for you today. Right, so we'll just continue. Al, you can continue to direct. Um, if we look at this video right here, right? The videos mm -hmm. are purple. Yep. And that's, that's our mod four. And you can see Joe and myself in the picture there. That's why we turn our videos off nowadays. <laughs> yeah, you can tell, you know, we're getting better with creating these videos. This was uh, in the pandemic in the early, in the early point where um, we're making these videos, but we've been running these CAD courses for quite some time. And so we have a lot of videos. Sometimes we just have to kind of filter which ones we want to show because it's, it's um, you know, you, you liken it to playing a song where you've heard that song before. Um, and so as we go through, Al will determine which videos are best and he'll post those. And it's a great way to learn CAD rather than reading the book. And so we have a lot of assignments that we link to these videos. And also, also the law, we like you to make sure that for some reason, hey, will you like one better than the other one? Let us know, because uh, that's the best way for us to know what's going on. Uh, maybe we did something better in one video than the other video. And you might see two videos up there because, you know, they're both really good. And there's a sign up there that Joe's pointing to tell me yes and no for the thumbs up for us. So we have that, please. All yeah, right. I think that's sort of what we're trying to do now is uh, we're trying to get um, to use social media in a constructive way because we can get a lot of analytics behind this as well. And what we are finding is the students do like the videos. Yeah. And so here's a textbook lecture. Is that right, Al? That is correct. So as I, I just kind of forward through it, you can see these are basic object commands, talking about our learning objectives and working our way through. And again, again it's the same song, just um, a different day. We added, what we did, we added the book to it because sometimes uh, people were saying, hey, how does it really relate to the book? So that's why we added the book portion of that to it. Right, and so these videos are there to help you, but you're not required to watch them. You can kind of work your way through them, find the content that you need, and then continue on. Here's a PowerPoint. Al, do you want to explain this one? Yes, uh, we have put together, Joe and myself put together a PowerPoint uh, that goes along with our lectures and it goes in more of a meat and potatoes, step by step, inch by inch, by, you might say, uh, that gives you more of an insight to it. Uh, because our videos are only 10 minutes long. We want to make sure you get the best out of our class as possible. Right. So it's just a little bit more content, content specific. And as we go through, Al and I have been doing these classes for quite a while. And so what we're doing is we're just 
adapting our content as we go. And so this is again, chapter four, how to create circles, ellipses, polylines. Here's a polyline tutorial video. Looks like I have an ad to skip. Yeah, I wonder, they sneak them in no matter what. If we get enough likes, they actually pay you for YouTube. So we'll, we have a long way to go for that. This is what we were using before D2L. And so you can kind of see this, this video goes back quite some time. Um, and Al and I have developed these videos over our 20 years of teaching experience in both high school and college. And so we have our own web server called Oakton CAD that we used to link to because Oakton did not have D2L uh, at this time. And we found it was easier to deliver the material and it's been working. We've been running these online CAD classes for, gosh, I think since 2007. Yeah. So that's the polyline video. And then here's the OSNAP video for object snap. It's actually the um, PDF. PDF. And basically it shows some of these OSNAP construction techniques. Because as we continue on through the course, we're going to pick up more advanced techniques. And so these Object snap commands will show you how to create geometry from the center to a perpendicular tangent to a midpoint, endpoint, tangent, quadrant, intersection. And so there are just these tasks that are not really difficult, but they take a little practice. Like this one's probably the hardest with these apparent intersections that you need to be able to enable. And so that's a bonus, I believe, on the OSNAP instructions. Um, right on the bottom. And so here's the OSNAP drawing template. And if I download it and open it, there, there it is. We really don't need a grid for this, so I'm going to turn off the grid. And then as you work these, I can work with, I'm going to change it to a different layer because hidden is just yellow on white. It's hard to see. But what we can do is we can go and we can select the line. And then if you hover, you have to have OSNAP on. And so we have to have this enabled. And then we can then choose which of these object snap modes we want to work with. And so we do have center and we do have uh, perpendicular. I'm going to enable those two. I believe it was center and perpendicular. And then what I would do is I would draw a line. And what you do is you wake up the center point by hovering the cursor over the geometry and then it'll magnetize to those geometry centers. And then we click. And then again, here I do the same thing. And then I hit escape. And I'm able to then create the geometry for it. If I wanted to make it in a different color, I can kind of override the color codes here. And then I can go with another line where I can say from the midpoint to a tangency point. And you see how it's not getting it? And so this is sort of the thing that keeps Al and I online and actually working. You can hold shift right mouse click, and then you can grab uh, an object snap and it becomes the most strong object snap. And so oftentimes you'll have to learn how to drive the computer in techniques like that. And so as we go through, I can come here, I can go endpoint, quadrant, and then I forget what this one was here. Let's take a look. So that was tangent, then quadrant, then intersection. So if I come back to my drawing and I go U for undo, I can get rid of that last one. Shift right mouse click, tangent, and I can select this arc. You see how it wakes it up? And then I can go to quadrant, and then I believe it was intersection. And so the hardest one is this one right here with a parent intersection. So I'll just demo that real quick. The way you want that to work is you want to make sure that you have a parent intersection enabled. And then under the object snap settings, we recommend that you turn on object snap tracking. And by having the tracking on, you'll get these construction lines. And so when we have object snap tracking, what we do is we go to the line command, we hover, we wake it up and it tracks, hover, wake it up and it tracks. And then once it tracks to the parent intersection, we click. And then again, we wake it up, we track, wake it up, we track until we get that point. Now I'm having difficulty getting it because my object snap is on, but there we go, I was able to work it. And then I can place that apparent intersection. So again, 
it's sort of like a video game where you have to push certain keys in certain order to make it do certain things. But OSNAPs are very important in drawing proficiency. All right, so that's the object snap, and then you have more objectives. Right, and also, here. and also, if you go above it, please, Joe, just a little bit, a little further up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop right there. It'll say Lab Four Architectural ARC Architectural to run. Uh, if you click on that, that's the architectural drawing. So for some reason, you need to add it. You want to do a bonus, you can do so. If you go down a little bit further, please, just move the curse down gives you information about it, what colors they are, layers, and whatever line types and whatever, if you want to go by that. Um, that's on our suggestion. That's what's on the object of the Right. We're in the basic construction for CAD. And so we're just giving everybody fundamentals and good, strong CAD skills. And so as we go through, Al has these really well laid out. We have all the tutorials for you. And then, you know, we have content there for you. But the overall objective is for you to be able to create these drawings. And so the first drawing, the polyline drawing, you can download the polyline drawing right here. And you click on that and you open it. And then once it opens, you're like, hey, it's already done. Well, yes, but it was easier for us to, to have it done and then just to uh, have a video that shows you how to do this. And so rather than go through and do everything in the video, I'm just gonna come back here and show you the video. And so if I come back to the main splash page here, and then we go to the polyline tutorial. And watch our... Yeah, Ooh. watch our surfer on his bike. Yeah, <laughs> it's like he's got it made. So again, back to some older stuff, but some of the older videos are some of uh, some really well-made ones. And so here we go. You know, what we do is we create the geometry above the template, and then we'll go through and show you how to calculate out the area for those. And so here it is, I calculated out the area. If I back it up a little bit. I guess I have to back it up more because I'm putting in the answer there, but. Um, as you go through and you create these geometries, it doesn't take a real long time to figure them out. You know, the AutoCAD changes year to year, so some of them have a little bit datedness, but overall, the construction techniques are the same. So your job is to complete the polyline drawing. That's what we consider our general design drawing, and it'll teach you how to use polylines, how to calculate areas, and this little spline here is, or, or this uh, polyline curved is kind of tricky to do. Uh, so that's a good one. And then this one with the sketch command, we just wanted to basically show people how to do like a, a map type topology of that. And then here we show how to do these different splines. And then you can choose either the architectural or the mechanical drawing assignment here. Al's got the architectural as bonus, um, but it's really either or. So you have to do two drawings for this module, the polyline drawing, and then either the mechanical or the architectural. All right, so that's basically it. Um, when you're done, place all drawings in the assignment folder and keep an eye on the outline of, of uh, when things are due. And also keep an eye on the outline of topics. So if you're saying, hey, what do I do this week? You know, I'm waiting to find out in the splash page. Al and I follow the outline of topics. And so if you look at the outline of topics, this is the readings and these are the assignments. And so we're at 923. Okay, we're looking at view and tool and plotting and object snapping and tracking. The chapters to read are six and seven. And then the module four exercises are the tasks to complete. And the quiz is here. And that's takeable that you can take the quiz and the quizzes and exams. And that's it. Do the work, submit it to the Dropbox, and then you can go on to the next job that you have. With that, uh, that's about all I have to say, Al. Is there anything that I missed or that you'd like to add? Nope, we covered everything. That was fantastic. Alrighty then, I'm gonna end this meeting and we'll open things up for questions. Remember, if anything comes up, you can always instant message us or email us. We'll see you online next week. Joe and Al, signing off. Bye now.